Another big concern from the earthquake here in the Magna area was a hazmat situation developing out at Kennecott where a plume was visible. Now we're not talking the mine in the southwest portion of the valley, but rather the uh, smelter location just to the west of me here uh, between Magna and Tooele on I-80. ABC4's Jason Wynn has been following that situation for us throughout the day. He recently got an update. Jason, what's the latest on that? Hey, good afternoon, Glenn. You know, a lot of people from the Emergency Operations Center were concerned with that hazmat spill earlier this evening. Now, Chief Dan Peterson with Unified Fire Authority tells me he believes 8,200 gallons of uh, hydraulic chloride uh, leaked out into uh, a, a basin that happened earlier today during that earthquake. Now here's some pictures from Kennecott. This is all file photos, uh, but again this was all contained here at the Kennecott Center and the chief tells me that the hydrochloric acid that went into that catch basin was all captured really quick. Uh, while this was going on, residents reported seeing plumes from Kennecott. That catch basin uh, that caught all that hydraulic Chlor uh, hydrochloric acid, I should say, was near other chemicals. So the hazmat crews uh, had some concerns, and eventually they decided that they needed to send a drone in there to deal with the situation. And at any time, we can take advantage of an unmanned type unit to get information before we know, because if we don't know exactly what it is, we often don't know exactly what we need to wear to be protected. So as they size that up, and together closely with the Kennecott staff, as well, it, it worked out extremely well. Now, the chief says that residents out there in Magna, in that area, don't have to worry about any residual effects from those plumes, especially when that weather starts to change. Uh, he also tells me that he's leaving behind six hazmat crews to be there with the Kennecott staff as they clean things up. And the Kennecott officials, they sent us a press release saying that they're halting all operations and that they're checking over all of their equipment and their buildings to make sure that there isn't any more damage before they resume the operations. I'm Jason Wynn, live here at the Emergency Operations Center in Salt Lake County. I want